All right, here we are, episode 13 of the Sephira series. And uh, looks like we, you know, have a wonderful view of a <laughs> Nord guy enjoying the uh, hot tub there. And we have this amazing view and the pool. It's just a great spot. These uh, Lady Debella fountains are the primo for sure. Um, yeah, so it's uh, just the start of a new day, and I think we're going to go try and get into some trouble. Maybe go dig down into some dungeons or, you know, do something kind of in the area here around Falkreath. So let's just uh, go do it. Now, some of this area is a little bit hilly, so, you know, you kind of have to deal with that, but that's okay. It's not really, like, a, a huge deal, especially now that we have the horse. Um, this will give us a massive advantage with getting around. And we got Lydia with us here, so we're pretty much ready to go and fight some bandits or really anything else that's out here. I'm kind of thinking I might just head down the road here a little bit and probably go off into the field once I see one of these locations of interest. We'll pull up the bar here. Looks like we got a couple tombs that are nearby and maybe a fort over here. So yeah, we'll, we'll go do that. There's something here. Oh, he's invisible. Oh. Okay. I was not expecting the random assassin. Can't let them take the killing blow. That would just be terrible. They had a note, so we're going to take a look and see what that says. Books. As instructed, you are to eliminate Sephira by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Okay, so this is the exact same one that we had before, and it's it's just from the leader of the Dark Brotherhood. It doesn't say who put the contract out on us, so we don't know who has a an issue, but eventually maybe we'll be able to figure it out here. We, we might just have to go around and start kicking doors and... I mean, I don't really like the idea of somebody just sending a bunch of, you know, assassins after me. That's not very nice. Now, looks like we have a tomb here, and, you know, seeing as how it's not too far away from our home, we might as well kind of explore this area. Now, there's most likely bad guys here. There almost always is, so... We're going to remember to actually save this time around. Um, looks like we have a small path that leads up here. Severely hungry. Oh, that's probably going to debuff me. So we're going to we're gonna have a little snack here up on the top of the hill. We're going to finish off the rest of the soup that we have. And, uh, of course, some garlic bread to go with that. And, and some grilled leeks. Yeah, we'll try and be healthy or something. Um, oh, now that was just the food. I did forget the most important part of any balanced meal. And that is an entire water skin full of uh, some fresh water. Now this is kind of strange because there's no enemies up here. Oh! Uh, uh, dragon in the distance. Okay, there's no enemies other than that dragon in the distance there. But... We have this chest. Okay. 
Okay, that's an interesting hide shield. So I think I think that's the plan. I think we're going to go clear this dungeon out since it's here, and um, kind of see where it takes us. Because sometimes these dungeons don't always end up right back at the entrance. Sometimes you end up in an entirely different place. So I might be up on the mountain a little bit, on the other side of the mountain, who knows. Now that is super random. You just got a potion of healing, a Nord war axe, and yeah, more Nord stuff, and a soul gem just like sitting in that, what do they call that? I think it's a, a Kyrn? A Cairn? Kyrn? I don't know, something like that. One of you out there know more than I do. All right. Uh, let's see. Is this just... Oh. This is an open gate. Um, Shriek Wind Bastion. Shriek Wind Bastion. I don't know that I've ever done this one. I don't think I don't think I've done this place like ever. Maybe? I don't know. The name sounds kind of familiar, but I'm pretty sure I've never been in here before. Now obviously we need to Oh snap. Oh no. It's a vampire place. That takes care of that. Oh no. Okay, I need to make absolute sure that when I'm done with this dungeon that I look at my effects because there's a very real possibility one of these hits will end up giving me the porphyria disease and if that progresses too far what oh we're taking that for sure and it's not on a dead person but yeah if if we get porphyria then we will almost assuredly turn into a vampire, which I don't know that I necessarily want that. Um, so here we have the card of arms, number three, of course, and I, I think there's 10, maybe 12 of each of these, and there's a bunch of different ones, but once you collect one through 10 or however many of the cards that there are in a set, it actually combines the whole set of cards in your inventory and turns them into a deck of whatever that type is. So in this case, it'd be a deck of arms. And it becomes an item that just you carry around with you. And yeah, so right here, found a fake card. These cards are grouped into, oh, decks of 13 cards of the same type. When you possess at least one of each card of the type and use any of the cards from that set in your inventory, one of each card of that set will combine to form a deck which will provide special powers, skills, and abilities while it's carried in your inventory. So it's basically a bunch of extra buffs that you get from carrying these things around, which is kind of cool. So we're going to take that and, uh, you know, maybe we'll find some more cards from that specific deck as we uh, traverse around the lands of Skyrim. We'll just take it anyway, just in case it actually can be worked with. Let's take these potions and... Oh, Jesus, okay. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> uh, that skeever kind of caught me off guard. Just came running around that corner. I'll go check this urn. And... Head up here. Probably gonna be another vampire. shatter that skeleton with one swing. Oh no. Okay, so obviously these skeletons are not very strong, but you can't you can't underestimate the skeletons, because on occasion you will come across that one and 
he will give you a world of hurt. Okay, so these coffins are actually lootable. I don't remember that ever being a thing, but... Oh. Wow. Okay. Now that is a cave. Yo, there's a hole up there. Wait, can you fall in here? Oh my goodness, could you imagine falling from all the- Oh, no, 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 that'd be bad. Okay, now we have all these skeletons here. This is probably a terrible idea. But, I mean, we gotta try, right? I mean, we are a mage. Yo! The snipe. Stealth kill, no less, right? Oh, come on, that hit. Do not lie to me. I know that, oh, man, that makes me sad. That that should have been a definitely a, a good kill. Oh, oh. What is this? Okay, so the game is very obviously cheating right now. Because I should for sure be able to hit that guy. Wait, did I hit him that time? Oh, I think I got him that time. Okay, there we go. I feel somewhat redeemed now. I was gonna I was gonna be a little bit sad there. Okay, what do we have down here? Okay, we definitely do Oh, that was that room that we just came out from where we got the potions on the chest. So let's do this dig site. These excavation sites are where you get those fragments for relics or whatever, something along those lines. And now we've made enemies. Yeah. Okay, here one more somewhere. We are going to need to right get you. rid of some items. Here's... Do I see anything useful? No, just dead skeletons. Oh, oh I got that one. Got that one too. Yeah, this is actually kind of better than using a bow and arrow. Not gonna lie. It's a lot more entertaining, you know, just blasting lightning spells off. I wish they didn't get caught on ledges like that, but, you know, you can't win them all, I guess. Oh, you know what? There was actually something out there that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to know. There was a... Never mind. Alright, so I thought that that face mask had one of the three uh, options for the puzzle, but it doesn't actually look like it's a puzzle one, so... No need to worry. Got a flawless garnet, that's cool. And... Let's see... Where it came in here. Oh, we will definitely take any potions of healing. Oh my god. I feel like I go through those way too quickly. I never have them on me for very long, that's for sure. Alright, so let's search this urn. Oh, flawless amethyst, nice. Some gypsum. Nice, okay, that's a good chest. Good haul. Okay. There is what I assume to be red Kool-Aid dripping from the ceiling onto a collection of shoes. Hmm. This is a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
you know, may, maybe it's the it's the Kool Aid. Yeah, the Kool Aid that's kind of weirded me out about the whole situation. But um, yeah, I think maybe I just need to leave these alone. Come on, you really think vampires are out here like? Let's collect all of the Jordans off of our victims. Like, what? Where is it? Isn't there... Oh, here we go. What is that? Oh no. It's one of these puzzles. Okay, well that's open. <laughs> Alright, I guess. Oh no. Okay, so. I have to use the. not just the levers that were out in that last room, but I also have to use these pulleys and these chains that are in here. So I need whichever one. So first I used this to be able to open this. Now I'm going to guess it's just the big giant one right in the center. Okay. So no, that did not open. We'll pull that again. It opens it up. And then we'll pull this one. Yes, my king. Let's go see. I think okay, so that closes that one. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do this one. Which should What's on your mind? Aha, uh -huh. so it opened that one, and that one is still open. I think that's all I need to do, actually. I'm pretty sure that's all I need to do. And I don't know if... Oh, God, that... Not gonna lie, that banner kind of freaked me out for a second. I was like, oh, it's coming down from the ceiling. Because I just saw the shadow and then, like, something just barely move out of the vision. Oh, Okay, smacking around these really weak skeletons is kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit nice. Because I know I'm about to run into something so much stronger. <laughs> I already know it. Some vampire god is actually probably just like chilling in this other room. Oh, I almost stepped on those. That would have been bad. I don't know what would have happened. Oh, I would have just gotten hit square in the chest by a giant log. Yeah, that would have been painful. Oh, from both sides. Okay. It just gets smashed by two giant logs. I'll take the bone meal. Might as well get that alchemy experience. You know, I feel like maybe I actually have been here like years, years ago, I'm pretty sure in a vanilla playthrough. Because, you know, now that I'm up here, from from the bottom I didn't really quite see it, but I think, I feel like I remember this, like looking down at that area, the tree and the, yeah, I don't know. Let's fight a vampire god. What's going on? Whoa. Okay. Yikes. Oh, no, no, no. Bad idea. Wait. Why does it burn? It's lightning. Take the gold for sure. 
Sorry. Although, from the looks of him, I think they've done this maybe a few too many times as it is. Yikes. That is. That's, uh, that's the hot seat for you, right? I, I don't want to be in the hot seat. Let's, let's not and just pretend that we did. Is that. Is that a gray beard? Those look like gray beards, don't they? Huh. Very interesting. I don't know that I've seen this carving before. It's kind of cool though. Um, okay, so I'm getting tired. What is this? Oh, it just looked really cool because it was shining green, but it's actually just kind of a basic sword. I was like, oh, legendary weapon? No, no, I'm not that lucky. Okay, now, I, remember, that thing that I just fought was a vampire's thrall, which means the vampire is probably on the other side of this door. So, let's kick some vampire booty, huh? Wait, wait. Okay, never mind, I, I lied. There, there was no vampire on the other side of the door. But in the sanctum on the other side of the door, and and the top of the cave, and across the way, yeah, you know, it, it, <laughs> they want us to take the the scenic route. But why would you have? I don't know. Why would you have this like little area here? Seems kind of weird, doesn't it? It's like I don't know. You could just have that be a wall like this, but I don't know. They just want you searching up in the rocks for literally no reason at all. Hmm. Trail of bodies. You think that we're maybe at the vampire's lair yet? Oh, is that going to close? Let's find out. It is not going to close, but I'm guessing this is a situation of the fire is just going to go as long as that switch is pulled. I'm sure if I flip the switch again, it would probably shut the gate and turn off the fire, but that's nah, fine. It's not a big deal. Maybe we'll even be able to lure the vampire through the fire, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're we're in this. We're in this. This is this is happening. Ow. Ow. Please no. He's on fire. Dear Lord Lydia, that that helmet. Let me know if you have anything you need. Oh no. Alright, we're gonna grab. That's yeah, that's good enough. I don't really want any of that stuff anyway. Grab this and oh hello. Oh wait. Do I already have the skill for that? Oh, I must already have the skill for that. Ugh. Okay. He's uh looks like we interrupted him before he was able to feast and get his vampire form or something like that. Oh, well, dungeon is clear, so that, that means there shouldn't be any more bad guys. And I think we just have a little bit of, we get some loot here, so we'll loot the inner sanctum of the mean vampire guy. Hmm. 
Wow, those are worth so much money. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take this just in case I don't have that enchant. I'm pretty sure that I do have it, but just in case. Ooh. That's cool. Androdite Garnet. Hmm. Never seen that before. Another flawless amethyst. Cool. My gem collection is going to be pretty impressive here soon. But yeah, I think that's. I think that's it. 